Hello guys, today I would like to study the simulation of supersonic diffuser in ANSYS Fluent. First, I would like to create the geometry in Design Modeler. This geometry I have already calculated analytically. I create the sketch on XY plane. First, I create the lower part of my diffuser, which is the first deflection angle and the second deflection angle. Now I put the dimensions of these angles. First was 19 degrees and the second one 164. Then I make the upper part of my diffuser. I create the Inlet to my control volume, very small vertical line, then I create the bigger, bigger inclined line of my inlet and I create one more horizontal line. Okay, now I put the dimension of these lines. Here I will have vertical dimension which is equal to 0 0.07 meters on the upper line the same size and I put the distance from the origin of coordinates between this and this point. Here the H5 would be equal to 1187 meters. And the vertical distance between the origin of coordinates and upper point of my diffuser is also given as 0, 7, 9, 4 meters. Okay. Now we will have to define the subsonic part of the diffuser. I will draw the arc by tangent for the lower part of my diffuser it will look like this and the arc by three points for the upper part of my diffuser which will look approximately like this. Okay. Now I have to create the outside line from where my flow will go out. Okay. There are some errors of the building which we may correct as well. So I will trim one line here. I will check if this has intersection, yes, and on the other line I will put this constraint as the vertical line. Okay, here I have to set the dimension of these arcs. So I will put the 
distance from the origin from the central point to the origin of these arcs this distance v7 would be 1.493 meters and the distance v8 would be 0 one zero six six meters now I have to put the sizes of my arcs the lower arc is R9 it will be equal to zero eight eleven forty seven and the upper part of my arc radius R10 will be equal to 2.402 meters okay now I also have to set up the horizontal distance from this point to the origin which is H11 this would be equal to 1.7 like this okay I have to see if all uh, constraints are set then our geometry will be completely defined The last distance which I have to set is the vertical size of this line here. This is V12. It will be equal to 0, 19, 0, 02 meters. Well, now all my geometry looks well defined and I can go to uh, finish the control volume. To do that I will go to create the concept of the surface from sketches and if everything is closed I receive my control volume. The next step would be to define inlet, outlet and the wall conditions. So I will select the edges and here I will name it. I will name these edges. On the inlet I will set these two edges in the front. I will set their names as inlet. Okay. Generate. Then this upper point upper line here can be inlet or outlet we don't know before we are doing simulation so we keep it as a free surface and we will name it as stream on the outlet we have one edge which we will name as out from where our flow will flow out and the other edges are simply the walls so this is upper part lower part are the walls I will name them as a wall and generate so now we have the simulation volume and we have all edges named.
if everything is set correctly now we can proceed to meshing we will try to edit the mesh in the best way this is standard meshing tool which we already studied from aerodynamics and here we can do really great mesh so now our geometry will be loaded we orient it with the z-coordinate perpendicular to the viewer rearrange the viewing window to see all the geometry better okay and we set the option first one is the face meshing we apply the face meshing for all our computational volume this simulation will be made for inviscid flow so we have to mesh all our volume uniformly for the viscous flow we will have to make several zones and mesh independently these zones first operation which I use here I insert the sizing for two edges the edge on the inlet and the edge on the outlet apply on these edges I will select number of divisions in my case should be not very big number I think 60 divisions would be enough for the simulation okay now if I try to generate my mesh I will see that on axial direction mesh is quite well defined but in the radial direction mesh is not so precise the cells are very big so I have to adjust the size of my mesh I will put here the, the feature size very small like 0.1 millimeter okay and I will put my element size 5 millimeter with these sizes here I will try to do my mesh okay there is one message which we face about a problem with the feature size and this is why not working so I will draw I would like to change this size and also I work with the curvature minimal size here when the parameters of the mesh would be acceptable like now the mesh will be built we can examine the quality of the mesh on the outlet you can see that it's quite well organized with respect to the flow on the inlet mesh is also looking nice and in the center in the central part we will see that mesh is going according to the predicted flow direction so probably the shock waves which will be received will have a good quality again I would like to repeat that this mesh is good for just inviscid flow simulation for the viscous flow we'll have to set some specific options so at this point we have to save our project and we go to set up the properties for the simulation so see you on the next video